welcome back to the YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Eric Jones. I am the owner of Green Energy Solutions, or GES. And Green Energy Solutions, as many of you know and many of you don't know, is a solutions-oriented business. Quite simply, we can do anything from uh, picking up a rock in your yard, moving out of there, to design building of a lot of stuff. Do a lot of dairy work we work a lot on dairies that's what you're going to get to see a lot of on this channel because that's a lot of where i work and what i do so we do heating and cooling we sell generators um, and we do excavating underground work uh, demolition building pads uh, really a lot of different things with respect to heavy equipment we like to do some not for hire trucking all of our own equipment around but as we go to State Center here, we're gonna get to see a neat little project. We're doing a freestyle barn expansion for Blood Dairies. We've spent a lot of time with this dairy in the last few years. We have uh, built a turnkey facility or helped with uh, major aspects of the turnkey facility. We, we don't do every aspect of it, but we, uh, we come along as a subcontractor and do a lot of these projects. So um, this week you're gonna get, get to see us start the demo project we're going to start tearing some concrete out I'll, I'll give you guys a snap shot of what the place looks like i'll see if they'll even let me climb up on the silage pile and i'll get to show you this this place uh, great people down here kevin and alex blood are top shelf people i uh, love working for them they run a really clean uh, facility uh, take excellent care of their animals so i look forward to taking you guys with It's an absolute gorgeous day out today. It's a beautiful morning, uh, just a magnificent uh, sight that uh, we get to wake up every day and see the evidence of the existence of Creator God right there. That is a beautiful sight, sunshine. But uh, what are we going to do today? Well, uh, the scope of this project is is all these barns here. These are called freestall barns, and freestall barns are essentially barns that all the milk cows they get bed in uh they they get fed in there uh there's air conditioning there's sprinklers there's fans there's all kinds of cool stuff in there to take care of them they've got climate control they got curtains on the side that go up and down for fresh air but what they're doing here is they're taking all of the ends of these barns and they're going to extend them all out this way over here uh, they rerouted this road that comes in and the purpose to, behind doing this is so that they can bring more cows in and if they add more cows they can produce more milk and they produce more milk they can make more money so it's it's simple economics and to do this to blow the ends of these barns out and put a uh, freestyle barn expansion here the first thing we got to do is we got to get rid of all this concrete that's outside here so we got a pad there there's a pad in front of every one of these buildings as you go down. So our goal for the week is we're going to take this concrete, we're going to jackhammer it out, we're going to get rid of it, we're going to give you guys some time-lapse stuff, um, some in-cap footage of how we do this, but uh, come along with us as we do this project.
this concrete removal project and started by just kind of busting it up with my big excavator. But as I did that, it just took a long time to haul it out because the pieces were small. Bucket on this machine, it just it doesn't load right. So I uh, fired up the old forks on the 544 and just been plucking these chunks out. They saw cut this concrete in like 10 foot by 10 foot squares and I can get the forks underneath the squares and it breaks out really nice on them cold joints. Every once in a while you get some small pieces in there that you have to deal with but we got the skid loader and we just fire that up and uh, roll that right in there and then we just pick them pieces up so you'll see a bit of this as we go but uh, day two of removing concrete it's going well